All right, 6B, consider and take appropriate action for guaranteed maximum price amendment from Tyner Construction for the Multiple Purpose Indoor Turf Facility. Will Duncan and Tim Hopkins. Hi, Will. How are you? Good, you? Good. Thank you guys for coming. Power button here? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, kind of walk you through what our timeline over the last couple months. So, Jim released drawings December 18th to Tynert. Um, actually, he released them on the 15th. Tynert released them on the 18th to bid. So they submitted out to all their subcontractors list. They they compiled a list for, uh, from y'all for some local subcontractors, ones that they already have relationships with. So they kind of pinged a lot of people in this process. Um, and then they took bids January 12th. Uh, January 16th uh, was, we met here uh, in this room and did the initial GMP review. So that gave Tyner a couple of days to kind of check scope, put the numbers together and, and come to us. So it was us and the building committee at Dr. Overbo and the Tommies. <laughs> um, that's funny because we have the wills. So. <laughs> um, and so we met the 16th, kind of reviewed some stuff, and then we spent this next week um, assisting Tyner in you know, ne negotiating with some of those contractors, doing scope verification, trying to find out where, where, where we can pull some money out, make sure that we've got it right down to the bottom dollar. So that leads us to tonight, the 22nd, so we're going to try to establish a GMP tonight for the um, indoor multipurpose. So what was bid? Okay, so I don't know if you remember. Here's your indoor multi-purpose building, right? But within this project, we bid an alternate for some parking on that uh, on that north side. We've rebuilt this road in this project, which was a separate bond project. And then we also included the earthwork and the paving around the Axides building. So all that kind of goes together, but I want to make that clarification because the numbers are higher than what you would think for just the multi uh, the multi-purpose building, okay? So, we had the alternate for some restrooms on the front of that building as well, um, and the 20-yard uh, addition uh, to, the, to the west um, for an additional 20 yards within that building. Um, that road also included some drainage improvements up near the CTE, the existing Autotech building, and then for the Axe Science, it was site work, utilities, paving. Um, there's some landscape and some striping in there too, but they're kind of small numbers. Um, okay, so what does it cost? So base bid, when we got the base bid back, um, today's number after scope clarification, 7,414,986 was base bid. Okay, so that is, that's this plan right here. One, 150 by 225, no restrooms, no storage, just building turf. Um, that's uh, 42 feet deep height, is that right? 40 foot. Four, uh, 40 foot eave height, which was an additional seven feet above what we had planned. Um, so that's where we landed there. One of the alternates that we had in the project, alternate number four, was at deduct. If we went with a pure foundation, we would save 180000 That's a no-brainer. That's money back. So we're saying yes to that one. Same thing with alternate number six, which was a deduction of 4306 That was to change all the asphalt paving of the road to concrete. So. Surprisingly, concrete was cheaper in this instance, and it's way more durable. You won't have to think about it for 40 years. So, if we take those deductions off, base bid is sitting at seven seven million two twenty nine eight thirty nine. Um, okay, base bid that didn't include the road and everything that was on that last slide. That does include the road. That so it includes everything that was on that last slide. Correct. That's correct. Minus the restrooms and storage. That was an alternate, and that parking that was on the north. So let me back up the slide. Yeah. So this was an alternate here. These restrooms were an alternate, and then this additional 20 yards was an alternate. The main building, the road, and all of this with the ag science, the earthwork, the site utilities, the paving, that's all base fit. Okay. okay. So what was in the budget? Okay, so let's work backwards. We're going to take our base bid that we just came up with, 7.2 million, 
6.416 million was what was in the bond budget for the multi-purpose. So we take that out. We also had 180,000 in for the road, which originally we, we were going to abandon the road that I just showed you and put a road north by the tennis courts. We elected to, to switch that back, not do the road to the north, but reconstruct the road to the south. So that money pulls into this project. And then the flat work, the earth, sorry, the paving, the earthwork, the flat work, and the site utilities for the Ag Science Center comes out at about 600,000. So that's work that's accounted for in a different budget. Okay, so if we take all that out, for base bid, we're $32,000 over where we thought we would be, okay, uh, with the bond budget. So in that number, what, what allowances do we have? Because with the CMR process, we're going to have some allowances. We probably won't spend them all. So this is kind of an exercise to show you that there's probably some money that's going to come back. Every CMR project I've done, money's come back out of it, okay? Um, so, in those allowances, we have a materials testing allowance. We're gonna use probably every dime of that. That's where we test the proctor of the soil, they come out to test compaction, they test the concrete. We'll use almost every dime of that. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't anticipate any of that coming back. Construction manager contingency allowance, that's gonna be any scope that Tyner missed in the bidding process, that they carry an allowance to cover that. Um, Majority of the time, majority of that comes back because their, their, their bids are usually really good. Owner contingency is gonna be anything unexpected that we found. We think we have found everything. Like there's a sewer line running right through the middle of the property. We know that, we've accounted for it, but it would be something of that magnitude that we didn't know was there that we didn't find and that money would be there to cover that cost or to do any improvements once you got under construction, any additions that weren't included. Um, fire pump allowance. Um, that one we won't know if we need or not until, they do, until the selected um, fire suppression company does a flow test. So once they do that, we'll know whether or not we're going to need that allowance or not to pay for a fire pump. Um, so that'll be carried. That's one that early on we, we will know yes or no, we're going to use part of it or it's just going to come right back to you all. Same thing with gas service allowance. The utility companies will charge us to run that in so far in the property line, and that's what that's what that uh, allowance is to cover for. Same thing with electrical. Lots of times we can get, because y'all are bigger users, we can so sometimes strong arm them to just go ahead and cover that cost for us, but we can't always guarantee that. So that's why they put these allowances in to cover for the electrical service. That would be the primary that comes in from the pole to the transformer. Uh, that's the portion that this allowance would cover. Everything from that transformer on is in our documents because that's the owner's responsibility. Okay. Um, utility relocate allowance at 150,000. That is for the sewer line that we discovered in the middle of the property. Um, we're lacking information from the city on the sewer line, so we've had to make the worst assumption, and that is a it is a sewer main that we have to relocate. If it is in fact a sewer main, it will take 150,000 dollars to relocate it. We are 95 percent sure it's not a sewer main and that it is actually the connection to the restrooms on the west side of the building that then tied back across the property to a, to a sewer line to the south because the sewer line that runs down this road did not exist at the time that the school was built. So we've kind of worked some research and we kind of think we've got a phase right we're 95% sure that it's just a service line, which means it's a four inch diameter sewer line like what's at your house. If that's the case, we will spend a fraction of that to relocate it and tie it into that new sewer line that's installed right in front of your stadium. Okay, so that one we'll know pretty quickly whether or not we're going to use all of that or not. And then exterior signage, I would plan on using all of 150,000. We've got quotes back on that from some, some from some signage companies, so that's an accurate an accurate cost. Of that, there's probably 150,000 or more that's going to come back to you in allowances once we work through all of that. Does that make sense? Okay. But that's all in the budget. That's all in the budget. It's all in base bid. Right. Think That's of, included in the cost. Yes. Right. Think of base bid as worst case, right? We're covering everything with worst case. There's some unknowns. If they come out better, the money just rolls right back to you. Okay, so alternates. When we took the bids, we had uh, we had seven alternates. The restroom and storage addition that was to the north was 453000 uh, We priced an additional 20 yards of metal building, turf, all that stuff. $1.1 million for that additional 20 yards. Uh, the parking lot to the north uh, was 202,000. 
Uh, we did already take the savings for the drill piers uh, instead of the, the spread footing foundation. We bid, we designed and bid both because we wanted to make sure we got the best deal. Um, and then for alternate two, if you take, sorry, yeah, yeah, if you did alternate two for the additional 20 yards, the drill piers for that, for whatever reason, was more expensive. Um, I'm not sure that I ever really got a great explanation. Tyner didn't really understand why the contractor said it was going to cost more. But Pierce did there. I don't think we're taking that one anyway, so I think we're okay. Um, the concrete paving for the drive, we already took that one, um, is a savings of 4300 And then if we did the parking lot to the north and did that out of concrete, that one's an additional 29000 to change that from asphalt to concrete. Okay? So, Excuse the recommendation as it came from the building committee today was to take that base bid of 7.229, um, except alternate number one, which is the addition of the storage and the restroom, which puts the GMP at $7,683,403. Seven and that's basically 34000 above the original bid. We, we, we were 34000 over, and then this additional amount for the restroom and storage addition. So now we're at 480000 over? Yes, 480000 We put 6.9 yeah. in for it? Mm -hmm. Is that right? 6.995, almost, almost 7 million. Seven million. Mm -hmm. Is what we told our voters that we were going to spend on the activity center. If you take the 600000 out that we're doing essentially for the CTE, right. we're right back pretty much on budget. So 600 and the 180. Right. Did we get any moisture proofing uh, credit back, Will? Did, was that figured into these numbers or not? The moisture conditioning of the yeah. soil? It is not. We have gone back and forth with that. We've left it in for right now. We know what it's worth. It's worth 105000 um, But that's a link through a conversation. There's some risk involved with that that we want to go over with you all before we take that and we can take that up until we start construction it's not going to have to do the tonight number so right. i thought it was 420 for the bathrooms that's the number that i kept thinking of there's 47,000 for grill piers for the restroom and additions or i looked at that too is that what that's adding in there i'm sorry tell me i wasn't listening <laughs> <clears throat> so while they're looking at it, so just for y'all that were privy to the stuff that we are, we've been doing for the last few weeks, we met twice and then we met again today for about two hours. Uh, I thought it was going to be like 15 minutes, but it was about two hours. Um, just to make sure, because the first meeting we had with these guys, to be honest with you, we were like, hey, we didn't like it. And um, feel like they did a good job going back sharpen the pencil and coming back to us uh, second time. And so um, one of the things that we were really sensitive to was making sure we're doing what we told the public that we were going to do. And so um, basically when it comes down to it, to get to this um, seven, seven sixty eight, whatever that number is exactly. 7603 What that's going to entail is the 60-yard building, um, and we actually asked them to make it higher. Uh, and so it went from 37 yeah, 33. 33 to 40 feet high, so it's a bigger building. Uh, we're getting more than what we asked for the public right there. And then... What, do, what, do, what does that include? We went to Abilene and looked at their latest, newest one they did. And Sorry, the, the coaches over there yeah, said if they, had need, if they had to do it again, they would take it up a little higher because of all the batting cages and stuff to come down and just uh -huh. as far as playing. Like stuff that's stored up there. Right. The, no, yeah. You hit it with the ball. Play. Uh -huh. Yeah. Because they, they hang down. They would so. take it a little bit higher. And uh, the one we all looked at didn't have no bathroom facilities, no storage facilities. And so 
we added that as an alternate, and then uh, right, we're talking about what else? Yeah. 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 That's it as far yeah. as the, the additions to it. So we're getting we're getting everything that we we told the public we were going to do, plus the bathroom, plus the extended height, um, and the storage. So what's misleading is six hundred thousand yeah, dollars of that is, is should be technically speaking is the CTE <coughs> dirt work and. For the CTE project, pavement, yeah. pavement and all which that, which is budgeted in a, in a different category that yeah. we we'll get that money back later. So, are we getting the additional twenty yards or not? No. No. no, 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 no. We're getting the restrooms. The restrooms and the storage, but not the not the extra yards or not the, the parking, parking lot. lot. But yeah. we're getting the road. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So we'll go back to here. We're getting this road. We're coming past that connection point over to Auto Tag tearing this out and rebuilding all of this all the way out to the road, to the main road connection. And that's 180000 less than we had budgeted through the bond. Is that right from your numbers right there, Will? No, this this was a project that we that we carried in the bond that we advertised to the public. Yeah. Um, and so that project was to be for the road to the north, and we were going to tear this one out and get rid of it. Right. But then when we elected to not do the road to the north and leave this one here, that money rolled into this project to pay for that cost. Okay. Yeah. What was the other road going to cost? The one that was going to do that one was the one that you That's what was budgeted for that road. We just moved the budget. Just moved to, it. Over. Yeah. So when this building goes out to bid, it will only be for the building and everything in it and the foundation. Um, all the, all the paving, all the dirt work, all the utilities that lead up to the building, the pad site itself is They're all in this right. budget. So is the gray what we have now? Gray the gray is all new. The gray is new. That's all new. This, the, that this road is the, road the existing now. road gotcha. right here. Okay. And so we're going to do a little bit of repair on uh, the grading right here to that hand, to try to help get the water to flow better. So that's why we took it all the way back to here, and then it'll all be on. Here. Okay. And, and we don't have concrete around that center already, the ag? Well, I mean, the... Very little. Remember, it's asphalt right out there where we well, cooked the hamburgers. There's, there's, and, there's so a hill. That's the, the current, current stuff. That asphalt? Yeah. Oh. yeah. That's yeah. the current. So thing. the existing building's here, and then the asphalt is just in the white. In this white so that portion dark right dark gray oh. is right now is the old practice football field, peewee football. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Where so, is the big hump at on that, in that road going? Is it... Behind it's right here. Or no, it's it's right here. here. So, yeah. so New we're going to little past that hump. Then. Yeah, we're going to plane that out so it's not a drastic. We and got we've got a lot over. better yeah. drainage system off to the side than those yeah. pipes. Well, is your plan to take out that asphalt in front of the current ag building and do it or leave it? Leave it. Leave it. So you'll have asphalt and concrete, but that's good. No yeah. problem. No. Okay. No problem. And then in this project, there will also be another drainage project that's going to pick up. There's a flume that comes in right here behind this building that currently dumps. It brings water all the way from the highway um, down a flume, and it dumps behind this building and comes this way, right through that flume to the street. And that's what causes a big chunk of that flooding here. So we're, we're rebuilding and redesigning this, but we're going, to, we're going to divert this water behind the building this direction. So. And where will people park? We have we have all the current parking lot in the front. This parking, the west side. This parking, and then there's this parking. Right. You're talking about for the build, the multi-purpose facility in the in the in this existing the current parking, parking right here. And the one next to it. Yeah. Yeah. Street. So what we can do, you know, hopefully we have some extra funds left to be able to come in and put that parking lot in. Mm -hmm. I mean, what would make the most just sense? Without it being a parking lot, it would be grass. Just land, just grass. Right. 
there'll be some sidewalk connection between the two buildings, but that's, that's basically it. Any questions? Woody? What does just that parking area cost? Two twenty. If that's something we could decide like yeah. when we figure out the allowances. Yeah, yeah if we, we have the money left. Left over bond money then we can surely use. That's that something that can be line. gone back and added yeah, oh, yeah. later. Yeah, it'd be the easiest thing to add. The, the dirt work will be done pretty much, right? So basically what you're saying is we're $32,000 over, but have the chance of that coming back from, from allowances. the allowances? Yes. Yes. But we're also 453 over because that was the restroom in addition. First off. Yeah. yeah. Avalanche or nowhere else had a, that we saw had a, had a restroom facility or storage. We added that on the extra. Nobody else? No. Had we added that on extra, and we're still just thirty-two thousand over. But before plus, the allowances are taken into account, plus six hundred thousand of that is really not. It's actually four hundred and eighty thousand extra that we're doing. We we budgeted in the bond seven million. Okay. And, and six hundred thousand of that is actually not multi-purpose. It's dirt work and paving um, around the CTE. Okay. Yeah, 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 there is. That's what's going it all off. It's How 600. much over We're our budget? <laughs> 32,000. 32 or 480? 480. Okay. Because we added that. I mean, I'm not against yeah, adding that. That 32,000 does not include the alt, right? Does not include the that's restroom alt. That's correct. Alt. Yeah. So with, with that the alt, it's 480,000. With the restroom. And, the and that's uh, that's 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 with subtracting the six hundred thousand for the right. e dirt work. Yes. Right. So really, we're four eighty over. Is that right? Yep. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So because right. with without without the addition, this is where we're at. So with the addition, add four eight four eighty on. Right. So we add the four four fifty four fifty. So we're at four eighty to that. Well, yeah. Can you verify that thirty thousand add? I did, and it, it was a it was a um, the the concrete person misinterpreted the detail, and uh, they're they're taking the peers when the interpretation was given by the structural engineer. It increased the cost of the spread footings, and so they took the peers because it was cheaper than the spread footings. Did you? That is, we were right when looking at 420. But That's what I thought it was. Yeah, I just, Once I again, just texted Jared. When we decide on it, this is the guaranteed maximum price, so it can't be over this, mm -hmm. but it can be under. If that makes any sense. Yeah. And how much were the allowances? What was the total on that? Uh, about 600 on that board right now, isn't there? There's 300. Uh, Five hundred six hundred five six forty five. So we kind of we talked to everybody in the coaches, and everyone felt like the restrooms and the storage were worth it. No, I, I agree. Okay. Yeah. I'm not. And that's something that we didn't present to the public no. as, okay. that we would get. So it's like. An we're right. doing what we told the public we were going to do, but then we're going to add these restrooms to it, and it's going to cost this much more right. than what we originally accounted for. And we pared that down a lot. The original restrooms were a million, right? That we had that well, the original restrooms. Yeah, we we talked because it was so long, and we had we had twelve fixtures. We had nine fixtures in the women's, and then five fixtures in the men's. And so we went and spoke with the city uh, regarding that, and we got it down to three fixtures and two fixtures. So three and, and that's a code requirement. That's not just because we wanted to put 12 in there. Yeah, it was, it was, a, a, it was a plumbing code uh, for how you calculate the occupant load of the building. And then when we had the discussion with the, the city, we said that 
you know, the maximum going to be in there, her policy was like 300 people. And that was, enabled us to bring the uh, plumbing fixtures down where it is right now. Any other questions? So what are we taking action on, or what are we deciding? Recommendation is yeah. So we're rec going to recommend that, that um, um, we take that number, that 768, to be a guaranteed maximum price um, for that building. Um, and then um, you're going to authorize me uh, to execute the guaranteed maximum price um, from Tynert in, in the contract. So where are we getting the extra 480,000? We have um, 700 from the playgrounds. 700,000? Yes. That was budgeted for the playgrounds and that yes, we came under budget? Yes. We're one, two, is that right? One, two of the playgrounds. It's on our sheet. $762,722 is what shows left right now. So, uh, to some of these, it's going to be any more expensive. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Five down, total unencumbered. Is that the, the plan? Or What's that? that? Is that the plan, like, to take it from? This is our maximum price yeah, here. We don't yeah. think it's going to be this much. This is as much as it can be. If we had to, there is that there. We think it's going to be less than this, like yeah. 300000 Are we safe to say that? I, I would. When they did Abilene's, on, they did two of those, and they returned three hundred, three hundred seventy-five thousand dollars roughly, enough that they actually changed order, changed order in a, a re-roof of another building and paid for it on that. They did a roof, an, an old building roof collapsed. They repaired the structure, re roofed it, and we still gave back 190000 at the end of the day. So 7 6 includes the 600 for the other building or not? Yes, yes, yeah. That, that is everything. This was with everything and the restaurants. Okay. So there's 600000 built into this number that should be on the CTE, but we're doing it right now because we get. Yeah, it's an economy of scale, right. just getting a better price, getting all that dirt work in the same area done at the same time. The, the price on that, would, they're only having to mobilize once and not twice, so we captured that savings. So, so 600 there. So essentially we're putting $7 million and 83000 into the football facility if you take that 600 out. Yes, sir. Okay. And then there's about another 300 each that should may come back to us, right? So, I think so. This is including the restrooms. That's in, that's all in. That's all in. So, mm. uh, sir, no, you're good. So, so it's 83. Right. It's 83,000 right now over, and we have we think 300,000 each to come back to us in allowances. Right. I like the each. I think we'll say 400 there. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that doesn't include some moisture. I mean, it could be 400,000 very easily if the yeah. moisture and, right. and some things like that. When when we revisit the risk on the moisture conditioning on, under that, that could no. that could be another 100,000 that comes yeah. out. So right now we're at 83,000 over. With before any allowances are taken into effect. So what's so the recommendation? Explain to me where the 600 came in again. That's all that dirt work we're doing around the CTE. It should go on time. CTE. So, so, we'll it 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 so there, there'll be a line on the CTE budget, correct, for that 600? No, we, we are just going to drop the price. We're just going to drop the price. So, so the GMP would just be 600 so lower. On the Ag Science, that's that's what the current budget is right now. But we've just pulled 600,000 out and we've put it into the into the into our multi-purpose for that dirt, for all of this exterior stuff, right? So now that's the budget for the building that we'll be looking at currently. So we're paying it now, so that it, it, we're not going to pay that twice. 
and that's what you have in the bond for the Thanks buildings and other things. Right. So Four eight hundred thousand under right, right now. Because we said we're, we're going to build accents whether we want it, and anything that's left we'll renovate Auto Tech with, right? right? So that was what was given there. There's also half a million in FF&E to pay for equipment and fixtures in that new building. So that, and that's where our current budget sits, right? We're just shifting. We're just shifting six hundred thousand out of that over to the over to this project, which leaves us there. So if we take 600 out of this, 9.17 is really, really the budget for this, right? And that's where we're sitting. So at the moment, this one's tracking a little bit better than we anticipated. What is that a square for the 407? Because y'all told us yeah, we're at about 23. a month ago, 391 a square foot. Uh, that is the budget from a month ago. So. so 23,000. That yeah. is 405 a square foot because the square foot's gone up to 23,000. I'm just saying at that meeting, y'all said we, about two months ago, y'all said we had good news, bad news. And the activity center was going to go up from 140 a square foot to about 167. Yeah. And you said that the the Cape building was going to go down from 400 to 391. Well, we had 412 budgeted from the bond, 412 a square foot. I know, but y'all told us it was going to go. Y'all had redone your estimate to 391. I don't. I'm just, it's in that phone meeting that we I had. Did, I, I pulled it up today and ran the numbers again, and it's sitting at 405 a square foot. So that's, that's where it's at today. But that's the budget that was running back in November. You don't know what phone call we're talking about, Charlie? I mean, we did. Y'all told us it was going to be from 400 to 391 a square foot. Maybe that, that was, was based a good on a different phone call. Maybe, maybe that was based on a different square footage with the same number. I don't know. Well, is it going to be less? Is the square footage going to be less if it's less square foot? No, no we're not better. better. So what? I mean, if it was, you figure in 391 or whatever the number was on 16, 17,000 square feet, and it's now so, what, 21, 22,000 square feet? It's 23,507 at the moment. And it's going from lower to higher square footage? Price, price, per, per, price, price, price per square foot. Price per square foot. Price per square foot. Square foot. Yes, range is going to go down. From 412 to 405. We had all written 391, Will, is where this is yeah. coming from. We had 391. Maybe off we had a bigger all. square footage at that point. We turned it down. Uh, I don't 23 know. was the highest we ever went. Okay. Because the initial budget was 16,000. Yes, yeah, 16,000 square feet. They told us that day the good news, bad news. Good news, the Cape building went down to 391 a square foot. Bad news, the Activity center went up. Right. We're going to have to get squared up on this. Right. Okay. And tonight we're talking about right. the other facility, right? right. So we're sixty-eight thousand dollars. Is it sixty-eight or eighty-six? 82. My dyslexia. Eighty-three. Eighty-six. Eighty-three. Eighty-three. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Eighty-three thousand right now before allowances over. But we got. Storage and, and restrooms that we did not have in there before. Before possible allowance returns. Yes. 83 before, yes. Yeah. Really? What do you think? I had no questions. And it's realistic to say we might get 300 back allowance wise. Well, we yes. might get 300 back allowance wise. Right. And there should be some buyout savings that happen when they, when they buy out these contracts. Um, that, that happens sometimes too. What do you think, Clint? Oh, you still good? Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Tommy Corcoran, you got anything? Caleb? Tommy Gibson? 
So we spent a lot of time on this. And <laughs> these guys have done a lot of work. I and mean, we've sat in a lot of meetings, but they've done a lot of work behind. So today we had a meeting. Of, we all feel comfortable with where we're at, like we're not overextending ourselves. No. Correct? Yes, and we're getting yeah. a cover building, a uh, higher building. It's got bathroom facilities, storage facilities. Uh, it's you know better than anything we looked at. We could not do the restrooms. Bathrooms, yeah, very wise move personally. Mm -hmm. You don't need kids going across the road or back and forth to the school. Yeah. Okay. Any recommendation for us? <coughs> I do. I have a recommendation that uh, we set the max guaranteed maximum price at seven million six hundred eighty-three thousand four hundred three. Um, for the activity multi-purpose center. Do we have a motion? So moved. Second. John, seconds. All those in favor? With high hopes we don't get there. <laughs> we'll try. All right, very good. Thank you. All right. Uh, consider and take appropriate action authorizing the superintendent to raise the new Is that the one you just started? Nope. Yep. Uh, no, that's the second, second one. Second. Execute the guaranteed maximum price amendment. Tonic construction to the IA AIA A one thirty three dash two zero one nine contract for T Corpus indoor turf facility. Very good. So that basically that's what's saying that, that I can talk with our attorney to make sure that that contract is kosher and, and it's the best interest of Glen Rose ISD. So okay. um, I recommend that uh, you authorize the superintendent to negotiate and execute uh, the guaranteed maximum price with uh, uh, the AIA contract with Tyner Construction. Questions? The maximum price being the... Yes, that same yeah. price. Same thing we just passed. We're just authorizing him to now gotcha. do it. Question? All right. Motion? I'll make you a motion. Second? Second. All those in favor? 